I'm Kevin McCormley of Kiplinger's, and I'm with Janet Bodner, the deputy editor of Kiplinger's Personal Finance Magazine. We're talking about budgeting. Janet, it's the B word. Why do we have to do it? <laughs> well, you have to start with the right attitude, Kevin. You know, people hate the B word, but if you look at it as a straitjacket that keeps you from spending and keeps you from having fun, yeah, it's a downer. But if you look at it as a way of helping you spend smarter and have more fun, then it's a good thing. Okay, how do I get started? You get started in a very simple way, and that is just keep track of where the money goes for the next couple of weeks, one month tops. You don't have to do this forever. Use your credit card statement to help you, use your debit card statement to help you, but if you just do that for a month, you'll really get a good handle on where the money goes. What am I looking for? You're looking for that whoa moment where you say, whoa, I didn't realize I was spending that much on A, lattes at lunch, or B, restaurant meals, or C, drinks after work with the, with the guys from work. That one area where the cash is really leaking out that you, can, that you can plug. And you can plug it, and then what do you do with that money that you find? <laughs> well, what you do with the money is, first of all, you can use it to have more fun, you know, put money aside for things like the car that you want to buy or the vacation that you want to take. Or you can use it to start an emergency fund or start your retirement fund. It's the found money that you can save that you never thought you had. I keep track of all my spending for two weeks or a month. Do I only have to do that once in my life or do I have to revisit that every year to stay on track with this budget? I think it is a good idea to revisit it at least once a year just to see where you're going. But, but once you've decided or once you've discovered the extra money that you have to save, if you kind of put that on autopilot, if you have, suppose you, can, you figure that you can save another two or three hundred dollars a month, have your bank take it out of your paycheck and put it in your savings account or have your employer take it out and put it in your retirement account. That way you know you're going to be on track. And then the rest of the money you can have more fun with spending because you know you're already saving. Great advice, Janet. Thank you.